Hey everyone. So today I want to make a quick video about how to dump Game Boy Advance games onto your computer, how to dump the games or the saves if you do not have something like the GB operator or something like a Flash Boy. Now, just to mention, you still need several other items, but let's go over it real quick. So first, one of the items you will need is a Nintendo DS Lite or an original Nintendo DS. You'll also need a flash cart. So we're talking about something like here, the Ace Cart 2 or the R4. There are many different variations of the R4. It could be the R4 Gold, it could be the R4 3DS, just something that will work on the DS Lite or the original DS and, and or this one here, this is one of my personal favorites. This is the Supercard DS2 Plus. Now this is special in the way that when you play with this on a 3DS, you can load Super Nintendo games on it, for example. So it, it does have, it's very useful in the things that you can do. This one specifically is very useful. And I will go over everything once, once I get everything up and, up and going. So, Without further ado, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna show you how to do it on an original DS. That way you guys can see it. And maybe I'll show it on the DS Lite as well. I have a couple games that we can bring into the fold for this. All right, thank you everyone. Please like and subscribe. All right, so I do not expect this video to go on for too long. This is gonna be a pretty quick video. So, like I mentioned before, here are the flashcards you can use. You can use this one, which is the DS2 Plus. You can use the R4. There are many different versions of this. The gold is the R4i. They all work. This is the Ace Card 2. Now, these are this is a very simple tutorial. There will be another file that you will need to download and place into this right here, into one of the flashcards. And that's it. I will leave a uh, the title of the file if people are interested please leave a comment and then maybe i'll just add a google drop link to it and that's it if you really are interested so let's get into the video now i'm going to show you this is my old ds let's just put in the this one here they are the ds2 plus we'll do them two different devices so here we go now this can play super nintendo games i recommend you do it on a 3ds it runs sluggishly slow on this one. It does need the extra power of a 3DS to do it. So let's turn this on. And you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's plug in a game. Let's use Super Mario World. Yeah, Super Mario Advance. Let's put this in. Hopefully, you won't have to. It doesn't need to be cleaned. Let's see if it goes just fine. So I just want to make sure it recognizes it. There you go, so I recognize it. You can tell, it's our GBA game. Okay, now the reason obviously you're gonna need to use these is because you need to have that second slot. And just, I'm sure everybody already knows this, but just in case, these original cartridges could not use Game Boy. See, they do not fit. It's not compatible with Game Boy Color and Game Boy, uh, sorry, and Game Boy games. So, let's use a uh, point emerald on this one. Okay, put that in and let's grab Ace Card. Similar, they're all very similar in what you need to do. Okay, now, simple, turn it on. Okay, this one's already there, ready to go. This one's turning on now. They both ran the same software. Just one is a lot smaller than the other. As you can tell, it's a lot smaller. Okay, this one's loading now. So the operating system looks. And we're gonna to need to go to the DS game for this one. And this one here, it's very simple. So let's go back. This one is gonna be the where is it? GBA Backup Tool NDS. Okay, let's click on that. It's very simple, select target, okay. There we go, as you can tell, I've made backups already. This is not the first time I've done it. Made backups of many different games I've had, including Super Mario Race. So, let's just do, let's do a new save. So hit B, 
it's gonna say, oh, there's already one there. Like, okay, run. And that's it, backed up. I didn't think much long, I didn't think much at all. Here we just gotta find it. One more time, there it is, back up. Let it load, and there we go. Now with this, there it is. We wanna do save file, okay? B. Backing up, it's a little slower on this one because this is the original one. Now let's see if we can do anything else. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, this is pretty much it. There's not much else to it. You can save restore here. Press R. You can restore to save. Now this is where it gets very good. I mentioned before, this is another way of dumping the ROMs. So let's just do let's let's do a new file. Let's dump this one. Pokemon Emerald, I think it says it's already there, but let's do it again. Now it is dumping it to the I think this is the ace card. The same thing can be done here as well. So the same thing can be done here. But we're just gonna do it here. And that's pretty much it. So now this game, which is Pokemon Emerald, is being saved onto the memory card. I think it's an SD card right there on the Ace Card 2. Now, if you have the epilogue, you can do the exact same thing as well as with the Game Boy Color games, Game Boy games, and you can extract the Game Boy camera pictures. So just keep that in mind as well. That is something to consider, but that is also pushed out to May. These might be items that you already have lying around. And you just might have to dig it out of somewhere, out of your parents' place or a shed or attic. It, it might be somewhere. But look, that's it. It's done, it's done backing up and you have it now if you want to put it to a EverDrive, for example. This is one of the ways you can move it over. Okay, that's it. This is a quick video. That's all I wanted to show. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe.